Hello, my name is Larry Merck and I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today I'm going to do a nice little video on using special effects with the, the GIMP image editing program. And this is the image we're going to end up producing, which is a sort of cartoonish picture of Harley Quinn and the Joker, which are two of the villains from the Batman series. And I'm going to show you the picture that I'm going to make this from. This is a picture I started with, and I found this picture on deviantart.com and I spoke to the person I emailed the person who made this picture and his name is Lucas and his site or his location is lunkaster deviantartcom so you can see his pictures there I asked him if I could use this he said okay and he also said for me to mention uh, there's a Facebook page for the photographer, so I'll put that in the description also. But uh, Lucas has, is from Brazil, and he's got a bunch of sort of dark, neat pictures that I like a lot. But who can go wrong with Batman? It's just uh, such a compelling series. I loved the cartoons or comics long ago with Batman, and then now we've got all these great movies and even great video games. So I just wanted to sort of cartoonize this picture a little bit even though actually I love the look of it right here. Obviously this is a beautiful picture done this way, but we'll give it a different look by playing around with our GIMP image editor. So I just did a copy and then I started up GIMP and then I just did a control V and pasted it and it made this new image right here just like this. Now the first thing I want to do, we've just got this one layer, is I'm going to duplicate the layer. So now we've got the, a copy of the picture and for starters I'll just uh, go to our filters and then we're going to go to artistic and then there's cartoon and cartoonizer and I believe I used just cartoon let's try that out and right here you can't see this is just showing you a portion of the picture for preview but you could page down a little bit like this and there we go so that's more or less what it's going to look like and so we're just going to say OK and so there we've got a sort of cartoonized picture but uh, I wanted to get some depth and the way I wanted to do this is by um, using something that does some edge detecting so I'm going to drag our original picture up to the top and we'll work on that now and for this we're going to go to filters and we're going to go to edge detect and for this we're going to do the neon and once again, you can't really see anything. We'll have to scroll over to put it into the view so we can see what's going on. But see how it's going to just pick out the edges. And what I want to do is make it a little bit brighter. So what I'm going to do is move the amount over a little bit like that. And I think that comes out pretty well. So then we're going to say OK. And we get this image right like that. And I think I actually ended up using it just like this. But let me just show you, if you want to play around with this and make the darker parts darker and the brighter parts brighter, what we would do is go to colors and we could, for example, go to curves or we could use levels one way or another. Let's, uh, let's just use the curves for the fun of it this time. And let's say you just click here to lock that part. And now what you could do is drag the bottom part down to make the darker parts darker and see there you would just get the edges like this and if you want to make the brighter parts brighter you could grab this part of the curve and maybe bring it up so you can play around with uh, things let's um, maybe try this out and we'll see how this goes as I say in the final picture I had I think I actually didn't end up doing this but we'll say OK and so now what we want to do is combine these two layers and here's a nice trick I'm going to show you when you have a layer and you can use a different layer mode right now it's normal but what I used to always do I'd say gosh what would it look like if I use the dissolve mode and I'd click on it and then you'd see what the dissolve mode would look like and then to try another one you'd have to click on that but instead just use the arrow key and go down and you can quickly go through each mode here's a screen mode there's what dodge mode would look like often it's hard to tell exactly what they're gonna look like until you go onto them and so this is a quick way of going through a lot of different modes and seeing what they'll look like and indeed what I ended up going with was the overlay mode and so we'll just click on that to say OK and there we've got our picture now and it's got sort of a comic background 
but then by uh, using this, as I say, this thing came out quite as well, actually, as my final picture, so play around with it, but uh, you can take a look at LarryMerk.DeviantArt.com to see I also went to CoolText.com to make titles for this, which I put on the bottom, and uh, you can take a look at my final picture at LarryMerk.DeviantArt.com and also go to luncaster3.deviantart.com to see Lucas's site. So thanks for checking this out. Have a lot of fun with artistic filters and your layer modes. And we'll see you back for another video. Bye-bye.